Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome yet again to another episode of Dinner Guide. I am your host Chef Andy and today I'm going to be making something somewhat very easy for some and difficult for others. We're going to be making a very simple hollandaise sauce. We're going to be serving that over some parma ham and some homemade biscuits. And I'm also going to be showing you how to just steam up some quick broccoli that will be actually going as a cider to that very simple dish. But before we begin, I will proceed to introduce the ingredients just to give you an idea of what to expect. Now from the very front, I've got about four tablespoons of uh, white vinegar. I've also got two raw eggs, one large red onion. You're also going to require about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, about a tablespoon of salt just for seasoning, a teaspoon of some Dijon mustard. You're also going to require two biscuits, a small, uh, a small teaspoon of some water there and some unsalted butter. You're also going to require some water which you'll be using to steam up your broccoli, about four slices of some thinly cut parma ham, some oil to cook with, some peppercorns to crush, and last but not least, a few of some broccoli stems that have been broken already. So we're going to give you a very, very short, quick break. And when we do come back, we're going to dive into this very simple dish and you can be able to see how it's done. See you after a short while. Welcome back viewers, if you're just tuning in, we're about to start this very very simple dish as I mentioned. It is a particularly beautiful dish if you're feeling lazy, you probably got a few eggs remaining in the house, a bit of bread, and you're basically just looking at a nice quick hearty meal that will actually just give you that beautiful kick of satisfaction and of course also have some nutrient to it. So this may actually be the dish for you. So we're going to start off this very simple process by steaming up our broccoli. And to that, I will begin by adding some water to a pot. And we will proceed to begin to heat up our pot of water. So we're going to give that just a few seconds to heat up. And while that proceeds, I'm going to proceed to also chop up some red onion. So very, very simply begin by taking the sides off, peel your onion very, very quickly, making sure of course to not have any skin still attached to your onion before you start chopping. One particular caution I, that, uh, that I could share with you is sometimes it is actually very frustrating to taste your meal or to have a dish and you can actually still spot some onion skin. And this particularly could be a big dissatisfaction for reasons that you may actually have to assume that the onions were not cleaned well before chopping or that the person that pre prepared your dish did not actually pay attention to the fine details. So always be very vigilant to make sure that you don't have any bit of that dry skin because it will actually stand out in your meal. And remember it doesn't actually just cook off and become tender. So proceed to clear the onion skins and you can now proceed to chop up your onion. So I'm going to start by chopping my onion in half and proceed to slice that into some half moon, half moon shapes. Right, you can actually reserve the rest of your onion for a little later. And now to our steaming water pot, we're going to add our broccoli flowers. 
and allow them to steam off very, very quickly. I will also mention it is very important to have one of this, particularly just to aid you in draining your broccoli very, very quickly once it's steamed up. You can proceed to also just toss those in there. giving them just about under a minute to just quickly steam up in that hot water. And remember one particular tip I could share with you about uh, working with vegetables, especially when you're steaming. Very important to remember to cook them as fast and as quick as possible, especially in your hot pot or your hot water. Uh, be very vigilant, of course, in making sure that you don't add your vegetables to a cold pot of water because it will actually take a bit of time to heat up. And by the time your water hits boiling point, your vegetables will actually be probably overcooked and soggy. So be very vigilant when steaming your vegetables. Always allow your water to come to the boil before adding your vegetables in. And of course, as soon as you're done, probably for a minute to a minute and a half, just proceed to turn off the heat completely. And you can proceed to drain your bro broccoli in the sink, pouring out the mixture through the sieve. And you can always rest your pot, you, you can always rest your sieve right over the pot and that will actually allow for your broccoli to proceed to drain very, very slowly. Now in the meantime, we're going to proceed to also just start frying our onions just to finish off the broccoli. So that I'll be doing in a pan on the side. So I'm going to proceed to allow the pan to heat up very, very briefly, adding to that about a teaspoon of butter. So I'm using unsalted butter for this recipe. You, if you do have some salted butter, always make a reminder to make sure not to over season with some salt because it will actually give a very, very strong iodine uh, flavor. And of course, one thing you're trying to avoid is over seasoning your food so be very vigilant if you cannot find unsalted butter and if you do have to work with salted butter just make an alteration with the salt because it will actually be very salty at the end of cooking right so butter melted proceed to add your red onion and you can also proceed now to season with a bit of salt And proceed to fry off on a hot pan, tossing of course continuously, just allowing that warm hot, or warm or hot butter to just coat your onions. This should take you just about a minute to sweat them off very, very gently. You can also proceed to season with some crushed black pepper cones. That'll give it a nice, beautiful, crisp bite. Okay, now once your onions just begin to go translucent, just proceed to shake your strainer very, very gently. Proceed to add your broccoli. And you can get rid of your pot at this stage. Now proceed to toss those all together in a pan. And as I said, a very, very simple technique of keeping your vegetables crispy, giving them a bit of flavor, yet of course preserving that bit of nutrient contained in your, in your vegetables. And now after frying for anywhere between two minutes to three minutes, proceed to allow your pan to sit on the side and rest, allowing you to grab a second pan, which we're going to begin to heat up some water. Now for this particular process of making hollandaise sauce, very important to have a double boiler. And by double boiler would basically mean having a pot of hot water underneath, placing another bowl on top of it and proceeding to make your mixture or cook your sauce right inside that bowl. But if you of course don't have a bowl big enough, I'm going to show you a very, 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 very handy tip that you can work with. So into a pan, we're going to add some water and allow that to come to the simmer very, very gently. While that continues, proceed to grab two bowls or rather just reserve one bowl that you're going to split your eggs in. So very, very simply proceed by cracking your egg open. 
And of course, by holding your hand right over the bowl, you will actually be able to get rid of that egg white very, very simply by allowing it to just run through your fingertips, leaving you with just the yolk. You can move that to a bowl on the side. Proceed to do the same for the second piece. Allow that to work its way through your fingertips once more. Proceed to move that to a bowl. And at this stage, you can proceed to reserve your egg white, which you can be able to use in the near future. Very important to mention, if you are going to be reserving the egg white, try and use it in a span of a day to a day and a half. Because, of course, sitting in the refrigerator could cause a bit of, uh, a bit of contamination, which you're, of course, trying to avoid. Right, now to that, we're going to proceed now to whisk our eggs. But we're going to add them into a bigger bowl. And to that, we're going to add that small bit of water that I showed you a little earlier. So it's about half a teaspoon. To that same pot, I'll add a bit of salt for seasoning. And I'm going to start the process by just whisking the eggs and the water together. Now, the water will actually aid in allowing your egg to emulsify a little slower. And it also avoids it from uh, splitting very, very quickly. Now, once your water comes to the simmer, we pro we pro we proceeding, we'll proceed to add our bowl right over. And of course, very important to make sure not to have it over for too long. You should actually proceed to whisk right up until you have a bit of uh, air in your egg mixture. And by this, you'll easily achieve this by hitting it on the pan very gently taking it off and resting it on the side. Remember, your bowl will begin to heat up. You can also feel the sides. It will begin to heat up very, very rapidly. And of course, by leaving it in contact with the water, it will actually heat up too quickly and your eggs will start to cook. I'm just going to return that to the heat and proceed to whisk that, of course, incorporating more and more air into your mixture. Proceed to move on the side. Place on the heat once more. And at this stage, you should actually have your egg almost double in volume. Right, once your egg has just volumed up, it should actually be now nice and fluffy. It should almost resemble a custard mixture at this stage, nice and yellow, light and fluffy. Once that's done, we're going to simply proceed to empty out our pan. Give it a quick dry with a cloth. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our butter to the same pan. Of course, by this, we're going to be clarifying our butter, which is basically removing any milk solids from the mixture. So on the hot pan, just simply allow the butter to melt down very, very gently. Of course, always take your pan on and off the heat, regulating the temperature and allowing your butter to melt down much more gentler. I'm doing this over some low heat. This is basically just to be able to have control over my temperature. And of course, always remember to keep your mixture nice and fluffy. Remember, leaving this out too long will actually allow for the air pockets to just uh, die down. And it will actually leave your mixture just very, very bare. And of course, airless, which of course now will result in having a very, very bad hollandaise at the end. Right, so butter melted. Just proceed to melt right up until all the butter is melted out completely. And you can at this stage turn your heat off. And we're going to proceed to add our hot butter into the pot very, very gently. Of course, pouring very slowly, make sure that you don't actually overcook your eggs or cook them too soon. And it also allows for the sauce to combine a little more slower. So 
So at this stage, your eggs will actually start to really get to a very, very more custardy consistency. It should actually start to almost roll off your whisk very, very slowly. And you can proceed to add the rest of your egg, the rest of your butter, sorry. Proceed to keep mixing. And at this stage, you may actually notice that your egg is not really uh, to that consistent that you're looking for. A very simple tip I like to use is return the pan with the butter to the heat and you can pour your mixture into it. Be sure to empty out the contents from your bowl. And now by doing this, you will actually be able to thicken your sauce a little faster. So it was a little runny and it went in, but you will notice as soon as it hits the pan once more, it will actually start to almost coagulate. And this, of course, brings you to the last and final process of your hollandaise. So I'm going to proceed to remove that from the way. And that will bring us to the first part of the break of the show. We are going to allow you to stretch out and unwind while we clean up this beautiful station. And when we do come back, I'll take you through the last and final process of plating this very simple dish. And I'll give you some serving suggestions as well. So don't touch that dial. We'll see you in a little bit. Welcome back viewers. For those of you who missed out on what we did on the first and second part of the segment, we've been working on a holiday sauce. We also worked on some broccoli and onion and we're right about at the last and final stage of plating. So I'm going to begin the process by plating our biscuits first. I will also proceed to Add a bit of mustard to the biscuits and this is basically just to get rid of that bland flat flavor once that's done we're going to proceed to move our parma ham right on top so I'm just going to spread a few pieces right over the top Of course, always spreading them out as wide as possible to cover the top part of your biscuit. And once that is done, proceed to grab a spoon and begin to spoon over your hollandaise sauce. And as you can see, a nice, beautiful, creamy consistency. Proceed to do the same with the other piece and just to work your way around towards the outside part of your biscuit, allowing for your hollandaise to spread and cover most or all of the top of the surface. Simple as that. Right, once that is done, we're going to proceed to plate our broccoli. So just begin by just tossing that very, very gently in your pan. And proceed to plate that right over the side of your plate. Nice, beautiful color coming through there. As you can see, 
a nicely beautifully done vegetable mixture will always really scream out healthy and nutritious so you can see that beautiful color of the broccoli right simple as that once that is done we're going to season very lightly with some cayenne pepper over the top and one big squeeze of some black pepper cones over your vegetables and that ladies and gentlemen gentlemen brings us to the last and final part of the segment this is my simple take on some hollandaise sauce with parma ham on a biscuit served with some broccoli and onion i do thank you once again for tuning in this far and thank you once again for tuning in right through to the end of the show if you of course have missed out on any particular detail on this particular dish you can of course write back to us on our facebook page which is brand plus tv we will be more than happy to help you out wherever you need some help but for now i'm going to bid you farewell wishing you a lovely week a lovely holiday and until the next episode god bless you bye bye and see you soon